This is the Samsung Galaxy S22 durability video. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitter so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. I'll also be doing a teardown, so if you want to see what the phone looks like on the inside or how to take it apart, make sure you check that out. The Galaxy S22 is IP68 waterproof, so we'll just drop it in some water for a minute and check it out. Well, this is pretty weird. It is IP68 water resistant, but for some reason the screen is going all over the place. Now that doesn't necessarily mean any water is getting inside. The screen might just be overly sensitive and detecting touch from the water being over it. We will see if any water got inside though later on in the teardown. and looks to be working fine. Now it's time for the scratch test. We're gonna start off on the screen with the most hardness picks from a number two to number nine. Samsung claims this phone comes with Gorilla Glass Victus Plus on the front and back. Plastic tends to scratch at a number two or three and glass starts scratching at a number five or six. We start to see some deep scratches at a number 8 and some more scratches at a number 9. Now let's take a look at the back. Now the back doesn't feel all that much like glass. And surprisingly, we start seeing some surface scratches or smudges at a number 4 and 5. But we actually start seeing some actual scratches at a number 8 and deeper scratches at a number 9. The ones at a number 4 and 5 pretty much rub off. So I'm assuming whatever it is on the back that gives it that more plastic texture compared to glass causes it to get the smudges at a number 4 and 5. But I'll take a closer look when I take the back plate off in the teardown and see if it actually flexes or not and if it's plastic or glass. The front facing camera is also protected underneath the Gorilla Glass Victus Plus. The frame, buttons and SIM tray are made of metal, but there's a small section of plastic on the side where I presume the 5G millimeter wave antenna would be. There is also a plastic border around the charger port. The housing of the SIM tray, however, is made of plastic. There's a very thin slit between the screen and the frame of the phone for the earpiece speaker. The fingerprint sensor operates perfectly fine, even though there's scratches on the screen over the sensor. The camera lens covers are made of glass, and the camera bezel or frame is made of metal. The cover for the LED flash diffuser is made of plastic. Now it's time for the band test. Samsung is saying they're using an armor aluminum frame, and they're also saying it's their strongest aluminum frame. This frame is definitely strong and there's no easy way to bend it. For the durability score, I give this one a 10 out of 10. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the teardown.